Hello everyone. Today we are going to make quick pickled banana peppers. I'm Rebecca from StockingMyPantry.com. Now you can see here that I have this bowl of banana peppers. It's, let's see how many peppers do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like just seven peppers. So it's not very many. That's why I decided to make quick pickled banana peppers rather than actually canning them. And before I get into showing you how to do this, I just want to explain some benefits of doing quick pickles or as sometimes they're referred to as refrigerator pickles. Uh, and the reason is that you can start with even just a tiny amount like this. And if you're gardening like me in a small space, a lot of times you don't have a whole lot of whatever it is, cucumbers or peppers ready all at once. And it's really not worth pulling out a canner to do like a half pint of pickled peppers or whatever it may be. So that's one reason why I decided to make quick pickled peppers today rather than using the canner. Another reason is because it requires basically no special equipment. I'm actually going to put them in this jar that you can see was just green giant sliced mushrooms. It's a glass jar with a lid. And you could use a mason jar, but if you don't have any mason jars or you just have extra jars laying around, what I love about this is it doesn't require a special kind of jar. Any jar will do. The ingredients are also very basic, and I'm going to go over those with you now. I have a stainless steel saucepan here, and into the saucepan I'm going to add one and a half cups of water. This is just regular tap water. And I'm going to add to that one and a half cups of white vinegar. And this is just your general white vinegar that you, you know, get at the grocery store. So one and a half cups. So equal parts of vinegar and water. And I'm going to pour that into the saucepan. And then I have one teaspoon of salt. And this is kosher salt that I'm using. You can use canning salt, but kosher salt works fine. And I have my peppers that I've already shown you. And I have one clove of garlic, okay? Now, this brine that I'm making will fill up more than this jar that I have, but it's so easy to make brine and it does keep, so I figure I'll just have it on hand for next time, you know, I still have, there's quite a few peppers on the plant and I might want to make another jar in a few days. So I thought I'd go ahead and make um, more than enough brine right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the water and vinegar and salt mixture on to boil. I'll bring it to a boil and then turn it down and let it simmer until the salt dissolves. Hearing a little bit of noise in the background, the air conditioner is running. It's about 100 degrees here today, so not much I can do about that. And I have, I just put the water and vinegar mixture on an induction burner right next to me, and it makes a lot of noise. So if you're hearing something, that's what it is. While the water and vinegar is coming to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the peppers and the garlic and everything else. So you could just put the garlic clove in whole. I'm going to cut it a couple of times, and that's just because then I think the garlic flavor will get into the uh, brine better, and, and I like a garlic flavor. You can leave the garlic out if you don't like garlic. Okay, so I've got the garlic in the jar. And now let's just go ahead and slice up the peppers and we'll put them in the, this bowl as we slice them. You can see that some are have turned orange or they're kind of a combination of orange and green. That's one reason I decided I needed to hurry up and go ahead and make these because those are really ripe. So you can remove the seeds if you would like, but these are sweet banana peppers and uh, actually, let me taste a slice now, and we'll find out if they're really sweet. But that's what the seed package said. So hopefully they're sweet, because I'm going to bite into this right now. Okay, yeah, they do have just a teeny bit of a kick to them, um, but not much at all. So I'm going to leave the seeds in. Also, some people like to uh, toss the little tips. I don't see any reason to do that, so I'm going to use those as well. Okay. Okay. 
So as I mentioned, it's really, I think, an, a great idea to make these refrigerated pickles because they are so easy. And if you've never done any canning or if you have just a tiny bit of something like I have right now, um, or if you just are not in the mood to pull out the canner and deal with that, then this is a great way to go. And since you don't have to um, can these, they really take just a few minutes to make. I mean, it does take a little while to uh, boil the brine and all of that. See, this one actually has some kind of bad spots on, so I'm going to not use those. Cut around it. Okay, now I already have them all cut up and I'm going to go ahead and just put them into this jar and hopefully they'll all fit. I have a canning funnel, but it's kind of big for this, but I thought I'd still, it would still make it easier for me to put it in there without spilling them, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and put what few seeds there are that kind of fell out because I do want the heat from those. Okay. All right. So you can see I don't have a full jar, but it, it's a decent, uh, but it's a decent amount to go in there. And you can see that, and probably here, that the water is boiling. The salt has already dissolved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the burner off. And I'm going to let this cool for about 5 to 10 minutes, and then I'll bring you Okay, so about 10 minutes has gone by, and the brine is still hot, but it's not so hot. And I, I, like, I do like to let it cool, uh, because I don't really want to cook the peppers. I want them to retain their crunch, and that's another reason why I actually really like refrigerator pickling, because you're not actually cooking the peppers or the cucumbers, whatever it is that you're pickling, and then they tend to be more crispy. So um, I'm going to just pour in the brine. Let me just pull this up so you can see. And I, you can't really see, but I put uh, the brine into the Pyrex. Uh -huh. Okay, I thought that was going to make it easier, but Obviously, the funnel is not helping, but I put the brine into this uh, Pyrex measuring cup because it'll be easier to pour than if it's uh, from the pot. And I have the, a knife here that I just used to cut the peppers, and I'm just pushing them down in there. That's not even really necessary, and... When you do regular canning, you have to debubble to make sure all the air bubbles out. You don't need to worry about that with uh, pickling, uh, with refrigerator pickles like this. So I just want everything under the brine. And what I'm going to do now is I am putting a lid on. And they're still a little bit hot. The, the brine is still a little bit hot. So I'm going to let them cool down to room temperature. And then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. And that's it. Ideally, you want to wait 24 hours or so before you eat them. And you do want to eat them within about four weeks. So one thing, just to be clear, I did mention these are refrigerated pickles. You put them in the fridge. With regular canning, you can leave stuff on the shelf. And, you know, it doesn't go bad because you've processed it and it's sealed and all of that. With refrigerated pickles like this, we're not processing them. So you must, must, must put them in the refrigerator and it's ideal to eat them within about four weeks. So uh, I love putting these on salads and sandwiches, and they just really give a great flavor. And as you can see, it took me really just a few minutes to make these. So I hope that you will give them a try. And by the way, I have a written blog post to go with this video where I have some pictures and written instructions, and uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would like the video, and if you haven't already done so, if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day.